Following the increase of illegal immigrants in the country, most of whom are involved in petrol retail trade, government is set to increase on its surveillance of these immigrants in the country. Majority of these immigrants are Indians, Chinese and Pakistan nationals who play their trade in various major towns of Uganda, especially in Bali, Jinja, Soroti, Kampala, among others. Speaking to journalists at the government-owned media center here in Kampala, the Assistant Commissioner Legal and Inspections in the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Kamgisha Rodovic, warned all those illegal immigrants that are still in Uganda and operating business to leave or else the law will catch up with them. He says close to 400 immigrants have been deported back to their countries this year alone. Year alone. Remember, we are in Beginning January to now, we have reported 402 illegal immigrants. Probably that's why you're not hearing a lot of rise from our own Ugandan business community. Since we have additional funds, we have increased our enforcement and we want all illegal immigrants because we are ready and out to catch them, if I may use the word. To catch them, weed them, and have them removed. Kamgisha suggested that they are not targeting genuine investors but those who deal in petty jobs which local Ugandans can access. But what are these kind of petty jobs government is desisting the illegal immigrants from doing? Internal affairs officials explain. They are engaged in petty, petty business. Selling shoes, fake cosmetics, like you read your hyena in the, in the, the red paper, fake mm -hmm. cosmetics. These small, small things. They are in pharmacy, are, some of them are in the pharmacy, supermarkets. supermarkets. These are the people we are targeting. The investors will come them and want them because they are growing in gardens. They are consuming our, our consumables. So we have about that. But the petty, the petty ones. Majority of these immigrants do enter the country through porous borders while others with fake passports. Therefore, government is setting up an intelligence unit to carry out surveillance operations on those immigrants that enter the country through porous borders and a forensic laboratory to help identify fraudulent documents among others. Attempt to enter the country with fraudulent documents. For the first time in the history of this country, I am constructing <laughs> at our headquarters here, uh, a modern, sophisticated forensic laboratory that is going to uh, help us scan, read these passports, and see if these passports are genuine or not. Two, IOM is setting up an intelligence unit to carry out surveillance for our operations. This is also a step forward for the first time in the history of immigration. Uh, we are setting up an intelligence unit. Kamgesha urged the public to be more vigilant about these illegal immigrants and give information to relevant authorities about these immigrants. Call upon the public and citizens to be vigilant and be involved in this exercise by giving us information about these illegal immigrants. Uh, we need a lot of cooperation from you, the media, from the citizenry, to report us any suspicious illegal immigrants who will be able to work with you and handle them and have them removed from your country. The directorate has also set up cameras, an intelligence unit, and an operations team within the ministry to actively check those without valid or appropriate documents and officers who deal in corrupt tendencies. Brian Senkumba, Channel 44 Television, Kampala.